Hi, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got a food shop, a meal plan for you from Lidl. And at the start, I've also filmed quite a lot of products that I've picked up from Poundland and Home Bargain. So there's lots of cleaning, toiletries and snacks as well. So over here currently in Northern Ireland, our weather is dreadful. I'm still actually drying off from popping out to the shops, but the weather is so bad. And we've put off a couple of things that we were planning to do for summer with the kids until it got sunny. But to be honest, I think we just have to bite the bullet and embrace the weather. So we will be going camping and picnic days as well. So a lot of the stuff there is for those kind of events as well. So hopefully you still enjoy the video. I do have my toddler interrupt me quite a bit in the food shop, but I had filmed and done, so I thought, just upload it anyway. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get in the video and see what all I picked up. Okay, so this is the first part of the haul and I've got everything here is from Home Bargain. So mainly cleaning, toiletries, all the little snacky bits. This would be pretty typical of what I need to get every two weeks. And then all these snacky bits, extra little things for like I said, picnics. And then we're going away camping as well. And then I do have a few bits here from Poundland as well. I did get other items. I got some stationery and a few other things that I'm not going to include in this haul because it would be ages. So if you do want to see a separate one, let me know down below in the comments and I can always make you one. So anyway, let's get in. So we have got some Haribo Star Mix. These are Seven individual bags perfect on a practical level the fact that they're bagged and everything's equal and they're not squabbling over who got an extra jelly and so they're good for a pound a bag of the salted mix nuts perfect for making trail mix we've got some toffee whirls banana split toffee and strawberry flavored never tried these before and I just fancied them then some lotus biscoff perfect because again individually packaged and you've got two in a pack and you get 18 for a pound. A few batteries here in need for torches and things. They're two pound each. You can get obviously the cheaper batteries, but I really don't want to be hassled with changing them over and things. I want them to last. So we've got two C's and then we've got four um, double A's in a pack there. Then on to Doritos, a five pack of the tangy cheese and some burger sauce. I haven't tried this one before, but again, that's perfect if we're doing barbecues. We've got the burger sauce and all there. Then Peppa Pig Choco Flake Cereal. This is the only place that I've actually seen it, is Poundland. They're pound and you get 250 grams. With regards to cereal, it's actually very good on the sugar scale, fat and salt. So not a bad one to try. My kids love them. We've had them a few times now. Then I've never given this a go before. My husband said this would be a good one because I always go for these mocha sachets when we're away and he said this would make it a bit more creamy i don't know i'll give it a go apparently everyone has tried this i'm the only person in the world that hasn't but this was a pound from poundland coffee mates so i'll give you the verdict on that some lotus biscoff spread great for in your porridge even if you're baking with it or just as a spread as well and i think that is just what i got in poundland the rest is really home bargains and like I said, I'll pop the total on the screen. Then into Home Bargains then, I got these mini pepperamis, 10, again individually packed, and they were £1.69. Some pesto, this is £1.10. They do do one that is literally 60p, but honestly, I've tried it before and it's pretty harsh. So still cheap at over a pound and it's pretty good pesto for shop but then Jude absolutely loves gherkins on his burgers and now he's just eating them on his own so a big jar of gherkins I think they were about 89p some of these condiments haven't tried the kebab one before have tried the pizza when I've made like a pizza bread so they're £1.29 and they're Hellman's and then this one is a kebab tzatziki sauce so I'm sure we'll find a use for that maybe on a flatbread or a wee pita Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. If I'm not making my own barbecue sauce, this is the one I go for. It is gorgeous. £1.99 and that's a really good size bottle as well. Usually I think it's about 3 50 in the supermarket. Yeah, you're getting 500 grams there. Barney Burrs, you can't really beat those for snacks for children. Five in a box as well. They are two for £1.50, so that's great for lunch boxes and days out. Then onto the back here, some Nature Valley Crunchy Snack Bars. I've went for the Canadian Maple Syrup, 20 bars. I can't remember the price of that one. Something makes me think it's only £2, which is insane. £1.69 for the Nescafe Gold Double Chocolate Mocha. One of them's out already. I had a wee mocha to get me going for this video. Then some Skinny Whips. And they're 99 calories each, five bars in the box, and they're the mint and dark chocolate. Now I've tasted the mint and dark chocolate. 
there's no going back to any of the other ones. A few things for the store cupboard, it's actually on the meal plan this week. We've got kidney beans and two butter beans. They're only 29p each. I think that if I would go branded if I had something where you don't have a lot of sauce, but these are really just for like, you know, chilies, veggie carnies, that kind of thing. So then we have got the trolls, poppies, ketchup, pop strings. They're crispy chickpea. And again, you're getting six bags in it, a pound, baked, not fried. So worth a try. I haven't tried those ones before. I have tried these before, mind you. But again, there's six bags and these are the Paw Patrol. They're baked pea snacks, three are cheese and three are pizza. Anything that's a pizza flavour is going to win in our house anyway. Cathedral City, individual bags again, five bags, baked bites. I think they're about 79 or 89p. And then this big tub here is 750 grams it's a toffee popcorn we get these most weeks for movie night or if the kids have like a wee party bowl on the weekend by the way on the weekend is the only time that kids are really allowed sweets and things like that but while we're away there is no problem they can have more so yeah i would recommend that one it's pretty good actually then this is what i went into home bargains for this and fabulosa and they had neither this is my cupboard one because it's been open but i wanted to show you these because if you are camping or picnicking and you're going to be doing s'mores, these are the gigantic ones and they're usually £2.50. I do find that they sell out quite well. So keep your eyes peeled for those if you haven't used them before. Then on to some savoury bread type things. 69p individually for the white pitas and then I've also went for the homemade pitas but it was two for a pound. So they're great for cupboards. They are a date until the 10th. So I mean October is pretty good going. Um, croissants individually bagged again six of those I believe they were 89p then I thought the kids would absolutely love this this is Milky Way delights you can whip it shake it freeze it sauce it apparently you can make milkshakes mousse ice cream I thought hot milk in the evening and maybe just make it a bit more chocolatey instead of the hot chocolate when they're camping and then these, I've already opened them up. I was just intrigued. This is the Swizzle range. You get loads of these in Home Bargains and they're usually 89p. And these are, I'll lift them out for you, little chewy bars. And the flavours are lemon meringue, apple pie and custard, sticky toffee pudding and rhubarb crumble. So they are tasty. I tried, well, oh, I tried this sticky toffee pudding. It was quite tasty. They're a bit like wham bars, if you remember them. Oh, and then I'll show you these here. Yeah, there's the wee individual bars. Thought these were great for the pack lunches, particularly Pearl because she's unicorn obsessed. These are the fruit funk, veg and fruit bars, no added sugars and they're suitable for vegan as well, rich in fibres. So you get five in a bag and they do actually have the packaging with the unicorn on it if you've got little ones. Particularly for starting school and making their lunch boxes that wee bit more fun for them so they're kind of like fruit winders but they're a little fruit bar then some of these i think they were just 40p they're banana chips and i actually couldn't get some feta on my main shop so some salad cheese just for crumbling over our salad actually this evening and it was only a pound these little box of hello pandas they're 25p each and again they're just like mini little chocolate filled bites and they're great for packed lunches if you've watched my packed lunch video you'll know they're the kind of type of things i like to pick up in home bargains so i think that's the foodie bits done then we're on to all the cleaning and a few little toiletry things as well so my husband picked this up i don't know it's not a brand that i recognize but it's some lawn feed weed killer for up to 80 meters and it was i think five pounds then we have got some of this hand wash. This is the Mango Passion Fruit and Orange Hand Wash. And it's a good size, again, 500 mils, and it was just 89p. Then some Windowling Glass Cleaner. I went for the Large Fairy, and it's £2. And what flavour? I think that's Yasmin and Yilang Alang or something. <laughs> Then some Dishmatic refills, they're 89p in home bargains, so always good to stock up in those. And then some of these sponges as well, I think they're under a pound. Um, some Barkeeper's Friends, £1.50. Then on to my kind of laundry type items. I've went for the Purcell 3-in-1 capsules. I do actually really like these and I thought that would be handy because we do always use the washing machines and laundry facilities on the campsites. With the capsules, so 52, 7.99 for the dual pack. Considering they're normally 4.99 or 5.99 for the individual pack, that's a pretty good value. Then on to my scent boosters, I've got some Lenore ones here. They were 2.99, and that is the 194 grams. And then my Unstoppables in the fresh fragrance, which I did a whole video on how I used these before. 
and they are 3 dollars for 260 grams. But I do love the Lenore at the minute because I'm using the softener and then also in the tumble dryer sheets as well. They're $1.99, you're getting 34 sheets. And I've went for two boxes there. I've actually went for a few of these colour absorbers. There's 30 in a pack as well. And I just think with the whites and pastels for summer, they're quite handy to use in the wash. These are the Speed Mop Wet Cloths by Flash. And I just think they're fantastic. Especially for the last few months when I haven't been able to mop just as much as I like to normally. If you haven't used them before, you can get the flash mops and you just add these little um, wet cloths on the bottom. They're super moist and really good if you just want to whiz over your floors. It's just impossible currently with everybody in and out of the back all the time to keep floors clean. So I'm going through this quite a lot. You get how many do you get? You get 24 refills and I think they're 4 99 and yeah, I would recommend those. Some Fabulosa fresh linen, the only Fabulosa I could get which is the disinfectant. But I did want some of the sprays. Nikki toilet roll, we get 18 rolls there, £3.99 and I don't use those camping for the toilet, we have to use special toilet roll, this is for the house and then kitchen towels, 6 rolls of those, £1.99 then on to some toiletries, I had to get a Wickford & Co candle this is the pineapple crush which honestly smells like pina colada, I love it but although it is a bit summery and it really doesn't feel summery currently some shower gel, we've went for the drumstick squashies, 500 mils at a pound. And also the Carex Love Hearts, they're a pound a game. This is what everybody uses, bar me in the house. We've got Pantene shampoo and then the Pantene conditioner, both 700 mils. I know the conditioner is usually more expensive, um, about £3.49 I think for that size. Some sure deodorant, £1.50. This is really good actually. If you've got curly hair, we all nearly have curly hair in this house and the rain plays havoc, very frizzy and curly hair. So this is the Ultimate Blends Hair Mask, £2.50 by Garnier, smooths, nourishes, dry, frizzy hair. So Lola will have loads of that on her and so will I. And then I don't want to bring my actual makeup and cleanser and all that nonsense with me. So, well I do bring my makeup actually, I mean all my cleansers and the full set. So simple cleanse and facial wipes, pack of two. £2.99. I sometimes use those in general to be honest as well. I wanted to have time to do the full routine. And then L'Oreal Wrinkle Expert for 35 plus and it's got collagen in it for £4.99. Let's hope it works some miracles. But that is everything that I got in Home Bargains and then a little bit of Poundland. We'll pop the total on the screen for you and we'll get into the food shop part now. And on to the food shop section. I went to Little. We've got all our veg here and then on to like the little bits of store cupboard and then our meat and freezer section. This came in at £86 in total and I've got a little helper here. You got to be quiet for mummy for one wee minute? Thank you. Yeah, and then you're going to help me pack away? Yeah. Good girl. Oh, watch those eggs now, right? Mm. So, meat wise, so I can get this packed away, I have got some mini chicken fillets and a few mm. chicken breast fillets as well and they are about £3.20. We've got some lamb leg steaks, so two of those and a large chicken which was three ninety nine. Some freezer options here, I went for the squid rings and batter. I do like it when they do the Spanish cuisine, it tends to come up really good. So it's not actually in the meal plan but I want a few little things in the freezer. And then this is the street food section which when I looked in the freezer there was so much and I've never tried it before. So I went for this pulled pork and wood fired bread which looks quite tasty. I have tried these before, these are the mini churros with a chocolate dip and they're £1.29 so two boxes there kept in the freezer again. Then um, some of this Lighthouse Bay breaded fish goujons. You get quite a lot in a pack there. We wouldn't eat fish fingers in this house, but this is a good option. Good alternative if you can see there. £2.99 each for those. And then, are you going to let me get those? You pop them down for me, darling. Some cocktail sausages, 36 in a pack there. Cheese then. We've got some of their own brand. Cheese spreads. We've got some mozzarella. And... A large block of mild cheddar. Cheese. Oh, you love the cheese now, don't you? Yeah. And you I never like used to eat cheese, sure you never? Uh, I like this. Oh, we do have halloumi. I don't know where the halloumi has gone. Yeah. We have halloumi, which is included in the price as I well. Like that. You like that too? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, a large tub, a whole kilogram of... I like that. Oh, yeah, strawberry yogurt. 
And then we've got 12 free range eggs as well, probably for baking. I like raisins for me. Oh, you like them all, honey, don't you? Yeah, here, okay. listen, if you're quiet, maybe I'll let you have a few raisins. Could you do it? Yeah. Could you do it? You could never be quiet. You could never. So then the only other meat I went for was this deluxe black pepper and beef pastrami. Yeah. Um, and we could have that in little sandwiches for lunch. Then this is the best part, isn't it, Pearly? Mm -hmm. These things. Oh, watch the eggs, honey. Mm -hmm. We have got some of the fake Oreos. So they are the nail. And you get five packs in those. And then five happy hippo kinders, which I love too. But there's only five. Then um, chocolate chip and caramel bits, the McVitty twists. If you haven't tried them, they are divine. I Honey, cashew them. and peanut nuts. Hmm? Um, you haven't tried them? Hmm. Yes. Have you not? You sure you haven't had a bite of mine before? Yeah, I, do, I like pancakes. Oh, I know you love a pancake, don't you? Do you like mommy making them, Bob? Uh, yeah, because I love you. Oh, I love you too. Right, we have got eight buttermilk pancakes, two sets of the potato files, which is potato bread over mm -hmm. here. I will need a lot more bread and milk, which I'll just do locally. Mm -hmm. So Hovis granary medium sliced is what we tend to use. For the cupboard, I've got some posada tubs and then some croutons. I think I showed my raisins. Um, some brown sauce, two tins of chopped tomatoes, and then yeah. all of the cereals. Is this for camping, Pearly? All of the cereals, yeah? yeah? Because, yeah, oh yeah, because it takes quite long to get going in the morning and get a cooked breakfast on, so, oh did you love, right. hey, are you going to get these raisins, are you going to get them, Yeah. are you, are you going to be quiet, yeah, yeah, good girl, so a big box of Rice crispy Snaps, crunchy flakes with the honey and peanut, and honey and peanut crisp, and then breakfast breakfast biscuits with yogurt. Haven't tried those ones before, so I would say that we should like them. This is actually from the shop down the road, so it's not included in the price, I forgot. This is just our strawberry jam, or raspberry jam, sorry, that we like. And then we've got double strength squash, apple and blackcurrant, and summer fruits. So they will do us a little while, and then just right on to the fruit and veg okay so we have got two packs of blueberries some blackberries and some raspberries two ready ripe mangoes but they do not feel ripe at all two packs of the jazz apples some easy peelers then I've got some pears three bags of the bananas because they do have a banana most mornings as a snack some red grapes six kiwis two packs of strawberries a large gallon melon two again really tough avocados but they will be ripe for friday's meal plan some baby plum tomatoes two bags of the mixed peppers four courgettes so that's individually two packs we've got some snacking cucumbers some mange to a bag of carrots a butternut squash which i need to get cracking with and get it in the oven soon and um, some button mushrooms a little bit of rocket and some baby potatoes. So in total, I think it was eighty-six pound. I said, wasn't it? Can't even remember now, Pearly. Sure, we can't. Yeah. Yeah. So that is everything. We'll share the meal plan with them now. Yeah. Yeah. So today is Monday. Like I said, I've already got the sausage rolls in the oven, um, and I have to roast some butternut squash, and we're going to have a butternut squash, beetroot, and feta salad. Two of the children don't really like that, so. What I will do is just give them some cut up veg on the side. Tuesday, a nice quick and easy creamy Cajun chicken pasta. It's got peppers and mushrooms in it. And then obviously I make a Cajun spice and it's just very easy, 30 minute job. Wednesday, we're out for the day and we're gonna eat out. Normally we would do that on the weekends, but actually, depending on where you live, over in the UK currently, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the government is subsidizing restaurants, so it's half price to eat on like so many different restaurants. So Wednesday we will do that instead to obviously support the restaurants. And just beside there, I've got baking. We'll choose one thing to bake in the week and just fit it in. We're gonna have white chocolate and raspberry brownies. By the way, I do pop oh, these. Yeah. Oh, chocolate, yeah. By the way, I do pop up these meal plans on my. The... What, love? Yeah, yogurt. This is really not a good idea, is it? No. <laughs> I taste the 
before. Oh, you've tasted it before. Um, I put these on Instagram on a Monday on my grid. So if you want to flick through them if you're stuck for meal ideas. Thursday then, um, myself and Alistair, we're going to eat separately. We're having lamb chops with garlic potatoes and a vegetable medley. And for the children, I'm just going to make them quick, simple pita pizzas. Friday, meatless tacos, very similar to my mm -hmm. veggie enchiladas I've made. If you've watched my main idea videos so very similar to that plus I got the cutest little taco dishes which I'm gonna use so I'll try and include that in a video for you. Saturday is gonna be simple toasties and I make twice cooked skinny chips with the toasties I'll get the ham from our local butchers and then melted cheese chili jam mmm delicious Sunday if the weather's really bad and we're around the house it's gonna be a spatch cook chicken dinner with all the usual veg roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, that kind of thing. So that is everything on the meal plan. Really hope you enjoyed it, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below. And I would love to have you on the channel. So hit subscribe and the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos like these. Are you going to say cheerio? Cheerio. Cheerio. All right, thanks for watching, guys.